can't read a book without pictures. Hello and welcome. This is the first galaxy-spanning transmission of Quality Time with Jeff. We've had a lot of feedback on our universe since the first game we launched, and unlike the feedback on my wardrobe, it's been very positive. Um, Roma, the creative director, and I started developing the universe seven years ago now. Uh, and when we did that, we, we had a few major principles we wanted to keep in mind. Um, the first one was that we wanted it to feel vast and immense in scope. Uh, we want the games, we want the, the lore of the universe to feel like it could go on forever and ever, like a limitless adventure. Uh, a second thing we wanted to do was to give the, the universe a sort of dark and mysterious past. It's this idea of you're hunting for ancient relics and uncovering ancient mysteries. That there's these, these, these strange and horrifying archaeological things you could uncover. We wanted to have that sense of the past and that, that sense of the, of the weight of, of history in the universe. The third thing we wanted to do was to have not just science fiction, not just sort of a cold, rational science fiction, but we wanted this element of, of fantastic magic of fantasy in it so that you it, the kind of thing that really sort of unlocks your imagination and really makes you dream about the sort of stories you can tell and live in our games of course this is a very large topic for one person to handle so i was panicking a little bit on exactly how i would do this until i saw uh, steve gaskell known as story engine on the forums who's our senior writer having a tea in the kitchen and because he's british and far too polite to say no to me i dragged him in here to give a hand so, Steve, welcome to our charming little fireplace. Thank you uh, for inviting me, Jeff, to your, your chateau. It's, uh, it's wonderful to be here in front of a, a roaring fire. Did I get that right? That's, uh, was that convincing enough? That's as, yeah. as convincing as your, as your tech tree blurb, Steve. It's <laughs> very good. It's <laughs> very good. Yes, thank you. Uh, speaking as one of the people who hired you, uh, one of the reasons that we really liked your CV was you, have a, you had a very strong science and technology background. Uh, before you became a, a fiction writer. Um, so just so tell me, what, what are some of the things you've worked on in the game uh, from the science point of view that you're particularly proud of? Well, uh, what I love about our games and uh, what, we, what we're kind of known as, as well as the amazing art, is the, the asymmetry of our factions. So each faction is, is kind of very distinctive, uh, kind of visually, but also in, in gameplay terms. And what I really like is that we, we still bring scientific concepts into these things. Like, for example, we had uh, the Unfallen faction, a, a community design faction. Okay. Um, they came up with sentient plants, which created horror among some, <laughs> some members of the, the no studio. Comment. But uh, we ran with it. We, the artists came up, uh, or the community helped come up with a, a great visual design. But then we also started thinking about, OK, so how, how could plants if kind of evolve, how could they? And we kind of tried to inform the faction from that point of view. So we've got the vine system and the way they spread using using vines. Again, it's it's a bit far out that these vines are spreading through space, you know, over light years. But uh, it fits the faction and it gives them a, a unique place. If you and look at the universe where it is now, you know, we're going to keep growing it. We're going to keep developing games. Where's where are some of the places you think you you might we could take the universe in the future? Okay, interesting. Um, I would like us to maybe explore the the endless more obviously in our current games they are they are gone they've left uh, their relics but it would be really cool to to flesh them out more for me mm. um, see how they ended up annihilating themselves how did they uh, kill the the gods and slaughter them for their dust which is a, a key component of the game uh, every year we celebrate uh, endless day on right. on January 21st yeah um, and one thing that happens on that day is uh, an endless archivist comes and um, visits various endless sites in the galaxy. And it, we haven't really d delved into what exactly he's doing. Um, yeah, so speaking of that, um, before you joined Amplitude, you were a fiction writer and you've worked on some other games. Um, so what is it about the endless universe that you sort of enjoyed? What is it that sort of brought you into the endless universe? Okay, yeah, so you, you mentioned the, the fact you wanted to have a, a sense of a vast universe, and that was very much came across from the, the huge world bible that, that you wrote that went in not just uh, details of the endless, but where the endless evolved from and things. So it, that was a, a very uh, positive thing for me to have. And the other thing that struck me at the beginning was uh, this, this mix of science and fantasy. So we typically think of science fiction games as, as looking to the future. Um, with a lot of like high tech and things, but because we had the endless and the endless have 
disappeared from the universe and left behind their relics, uh, their, their old civilization. We also look back to the past, so that, that blend of science and fantasy together was, was really an interesting mix for me. On top of that, we have uh, where we kind of extrapolate on real science. So NASA isn't calling us just yet, but uh, we have some Check pretty far out uh, technologies there. Um, uh, and one of them actually is uh, something that's a reward in the United Empire quest line. Right. You can pick up this reward, which is called the Science Fiction right. uh, design. design School. Uh, <laughs> and the idea is that the yeah. United Empire are hiring science fiction writers and artists to help them develop new technology and they get a science bonus from that. And I'm hoping that in our world, there'll be more work for <laughs> science fiction writers it could on happen. the basis okay. of that. All right, so, so those are the tough questions, Steve. Let's ask some easy ones. How about, uh, what's your favorite faction? Out of, out of all the endless games. All the endless games? Yeah. Okay. Um, well, I love to, when I get the opportunity to write Horatio. Uh, Horatio, this narcissistic megalomaniac who right. just thinks he's the best thing ever. Um, he is a lot of fun to write in his sarcastic kind of put downs. Uh, he's very, he's one of my favorites for sure. Um, in Endless Legend, I, I really like the ardent mages who have this mm -hmm. this strange relationship between pain mm -hmm. and uh, their ability to to perform magic. But I think my favorite faction is probably the the Vultures. Uh, mm. They're both in endless space and in endless legend, mm -hmm. and they bring up one. They have one of my favorite characters, which is Opbot. He was an old right. medical droid who has been around for ages and. Sometimes he flips out a bit and he's a bit of a problem, but he's a great character and I, I, I love the Volters. So that was a brief discussion of the Endless Universe with one of its other major creators, Steve Gaskell, Story Engine on the forums. Thanks very much for watching and we'll be back with more Endless content. So that's who ends up on the throne. <laughs>